Well, today I've got some more accessories to demonstrate. The first thing I've got is this 1960s hopper car and loading set. And I believe this one was only out for one year. And the reason I say that is because most of the ones you'll see will have a hopper. It says Virginian on it, just like this one. But this one's a B&M, which was why it was especially interesting to me. So in this set, you've got the instructions, the car, obviously. This right here is a, a trip that unloads it. This goes up on the trestle. Got the hopper that goes underneath. This is brass track, by the way. This is old school track, which we all now know that it wasn't the best. It was what we had at the time. So this takes up some real estate. So if you have a layout, you're going to want to plan for a considerable spur to make this work. I don't think this has seen a lot of use. So this has the trestle that sends it up. I really don't think this has been used because the bag of coal is not even open yet. A lot of times when they would have used these, they would have had another car in the middle for like a buffer or a pusher car. So this would come up the trestle and then you can hear it hitting the dump. So yeah, I can actually see the mechanism working underneath. So this would come up, dump, dump, and then sit. Next we have uh, one of my favorite accessories. And two of these have not been opened. I, I did have these as a kid, but for whatever reason, I, I don't have them anymore. So I was able to find these again, very inexpensively. Brand new in the package still. We have two Union Pacific trailers. A piggyback car. This is uh, ATSF, so it edges in Topeka, Santa Fe. And since I've just opened this, I haven't updated this car yet. It has good weight to it, but I'm going to go ahead and update it with better wheels, trucks, and of course knuckle couplers. This one has a red truck. A lot of times you see yellow ones. I think there was green also. Here we've got the structure itself with the instructions in back. So brand new in the package. This is the piggyback loader unloader. And there was another one that had like a, a tractor forklift kind of device that I don't have. But when I get it, I will share that with you. This right here would have been the ramp to drive the truck up on. The shed that goes up on the roof the, for the controls goes up here. This came with a couple sets, and I'll pull up the catalog and show you in a different video what came with what. So we'll just place the car there, bring the car in, and so you can grab it, bring it over. Oh, I see. So you can just turn it. You turn this little knob here, grab the trailer, bring it over. Set it down on the car. There we go. And then you just move the car in. So you come down and you grab it. You just turn the knob. Bring it over into place. Load it. Turn the knob again. And off we go. And so here's a Santa Fe piggyback flat car set. Also brand new in the box. So this truck terminal was pretty common. It came with a lot of sets. A lot of them, the cabs rolled forward so you could open them up. These cars are weighted pretty well, so I, I think weight-wise they're good, but I do want to upgrade the couplers and the wheels. This sign that goes here, one sheet instructions, was this cattle car and depot. Now, the depot on this is uh, it's basically just a, a take on the truck terminal depot. It's pretty much the same. The same depot, but it's brown with some rail fence on it, which is kind of cool. And then it came with this cattle car, which I've, I've already updated this cattle car. Put some metal wheels on it and Katie's on it. So the gate's over here, so we'd have to back up a little bit more for loading and here's your cattle looks like some Herefords they're pre-painted they all have some white feet on them so they're the same pose they're all the same pose so all the same cow but looks like seven or eight of them uh, here's basically what what this truck was and this was the pipe truck the cattle truck I don't even know what else truck move the cattle through the gates and then you can put them on the car so that's that's pretty fun well, I guess that's about it. I appreciate you watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.